Hello guys, and in this episode, I have a very special surprise for you. I'll be showing you how to install Installer 4.0 on the new 2.0 firmware on the iPod Touch or iPhone. And um, right now it's in beta, but uh, you can actually install some packages and it's you can actually take a new look at the new interface and it is pretty cool. So, um, you're going to be needing two things. You're going to be needing SSH and you're going to be needing to have a jailbroken iPod and um, and I have tutorials on how to do both of those so just click on my channel and you can watch the other videos if you haven't jailbroken or have SSH on your iPod already okay so first what you want to do is uh, go to your computer so uh, let's go to our computer Okay, so once you're on your computer, we're going to need to go into a web browser. Now go ahead and click the link in the video description, and it should take you to a page something like this. RapidShare is a file host. Um, we're just going to click free user. If you're a premium, then go ahead and hit premium, but it's only 320 kilobytes, so you don't have to wait. So just hit the download button and save the file. File saved. We're going to exit out. Now just unzip the file. Once that's done, um, you have installer. But now we need to put it on our iPod. And uh, the only way to do that right now is using SSH. There are some Cydia sources that have installer, but um, some cannot be trusted, so <clears throat> make sure your iPod is not on sleep mode, wake it up, and uh, turn on SSH. I'm just going to connect real quick. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to hit connect now. Let it connect to my iPod. If any error messages come up, just hit yes or continue. By the way, I'm using Qt FTP. If you're using the free version, you're probably using WinSCP. So, we're going to go up, down, and scroll down. Once you're in private var, go into the stash folder, go into applications, and that's where you're going to drag in installer.app. So, just drag it in. Okay, so after you have dragged installer.app into your applications folder, you're going to need to run some commands. And uh, to do that, you can't do that in QFTP. I'm going to use a tool called Putty. And um, here we go. So in the video description, I put a couple of commands. Some uh, Gmod commands. So first, we're going to need the Putty client. We're going to go to Firefox. Just type in Putty, P-U-T-T-Y. Hit Google search. It should be the first or second uh, uh, search results. So we're going to go to download Putty down here. Scroll down, putty.exe, save the file, and there it is. Now just double click it, and it'll start. There it is. So we're going to type in our IP address again, same thing for SSH, 10.0.0.7, and then we're going to hit open. Remember, port 22. You're going to see login as, type in root, R-O-T, password is A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine, enter. There we are, we are now in our iPod, again, Termin this time in a terminal-based uh, GUI. So, we're going to just copy and paste the commands, copy, paste, ta-da, there it is, um, copy, 
Paste. Enter. Ta-da! And uh, just to make sure it's right, I'm just going to do one more time. Is, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it looks good. <clears throat> okay, so um, just do these commands two or three times if it doesn't work. And um, that's basically it. That's all you need to do on the computer. Now, um, just go to your iPod and respring. If you don't know how to respring on your iPod, then um, just go to Cydia and uh, search for a tool called respring. Install it, and uh, you should see an icon on your springboard. Just hit that, and it'll respring automatically for you. Now, um, I'm going to do that right now. So, uh, let's go to our... Okay, so now that we're back on our iPod, we're going to respring. So, I have the respring tool right there. Just going to hit that and it will reset the springboard automatically. And there it goes. There's your iPod to resprung. Let's go and scroll through our applications. And there it is. <gasps> the installer. The icon will look different for you because I'm using a skin. So we're just going to go to installer. Just ignore that. It's a bug. Now, there's installer 4.0. There's categories, very nice interface. Um, you get tasks, uh, sort of like in MX Tube and the iTunes Store where you get your downloads, sources, um, your sources. There's not much sources for 2.0 now, but I'm pretty sure since this beta is leaked, there will be a million of them. Categories. Um, the here you can install packages. Ah. So. Um, that's pretty much it. That's Installer 4. And, um, and, uh, thanks for watching. This is another video by SP Studios 07. Um, and if you have any questions, just go ahead and PM me. You can add my, um, you can add my aim, which is Steven Planet, S T E V E N, Planet, P L A N E T, 2008. That's my aim. And uh, Yahoo is the same thing except 2006. And Hotmail is the same thing except 2008. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, thanks for watching again. And uh, have a great day.